if you look from an aerial view at this area, uh, there aren't any open spaces to put the aircraft. So I, I think the pilots uh, deserve a lot of credit for staying with the airplane as long as they possibly now, when flying at speeds of 170 miles per hour in a fighter jet carrying thousands of pounds of fuel, of course, you're not left with many choices in the case of an emergency. We asked Chopper 10 pilot John Massey to give us some perspective as to just how close the crash happened to NAS Oceana. Well, what we've done is we moved out over the ocean just to give you a perspective of where this apartment complex is in relation to Oceana itself. And what you'll be able to see is we make well, now we're going to make the uh, camera swing around to our left here just a little bit. That's 264, and right into your frame right there is Oceana. Now that runway that's running through the center of your frame, that is the runway that the aircraft departed from. And as he was on his initial climb out is when they experienced their trouble and had to uh, crash land that aircraft. But you can see the distance from the uh, time of departure to the point of impact is not very far. Uh, so just to give you an idea of where the crash site is in relation to Oceana itself. And that was Chopper 10 pilot John Mass.